Now we're going to fill the rest of the limbs. It's a good idea as you fill the filling to pack it down as far as possible to blend in with the sections that you have already pre-filled. If the bear is not too small, you can use your fingers. Some people like to use a stuffing tool. Make sure that you fill the limbs right to the top so that when you close your seam up with a ladder stitch, you get a nice round shape. The disc and screw needs to be well covered. And you can see there's a nice shape to the leg. Okay, the leg has now been filled to the top. Now I'm going to ladder stitch it closed. I'm using, um, again, the strong bear makers floss because you need to pull your stitch tight. And we're going to be using a ladder stitch uh, because this is a stitch that becomes invisible. Start at the beginning of the opening and you're going to make a stitch on the one side with your needle where your seam allowance would be. And the reason this is called a ladder stitch is that the stitches look like the rungs of a ladder. So you're going to go from the one side of the leg to across to the other side. And I'm going to do it loosely initially just to show you and then pull it tight. So you can see the stitches are going directly opposite each other from one side to the other. You're then going to push your pieces of fabric down and pull tight so that your raw edges roll under and you'll find that they become invisible. They pull the two bits of fabric together. And then you continue in this way until you've done the whole uh, top of the leg. Pushing the fiber filling in as you go. Now I've partially stitched um, the opening of the leg closed. And it's a good idea just to feel to see if there's any empty pockets. And you can insert a little bit of additional filling in to get a nice round shape at the top of the leg. And just to make sure that... It looks good and then you continue stitching until the whole leg is closed. I've now got to the end of the leg opening seam and because this particular design has a fold down the back of the leg it's a good idea in order to get a nice curve to the top of the leg to um, make a dart here and push the shape together and continue stitching a little bit beyond your seam opening. So the way that you do this is push the fabric down on the fold line to create a dart, squeeze together with your fingers and continue with your ladder stitch, pulling tight as you go and stitching beyond the end of the seam. So you, your stitching is then extending a little bit into the fold. I then do a double back stitch back in the direction I've come from to end off the stitching, pulling it tightly and then cutting off the thread. Now that the one leg is completely filled and stitched closed, continue with the other leg and both of the arms.